andropause is male menopause. Yes, it happens to men as well. It's different though in men than it is in women. In men, it's often like a dimmer switch. So after the age of 30, a male will start losing 1% of their total testosterone every single year. And so by the time they reach about the age of 50 to 55, there can be a dramatic drop in total testosterone. And when I think about a man that's going through andropause, I kind of coin him as the crumpy man on the couch. He has definitely lost his motivation. Like intellectually, he might be thinking, I really need to mow the lawn, but his body's like, nah, let's just watch another show. He's probably gained some weight around the midsection. He might have even developed a little bit of extra breast tissue and love handles. And he's definitely grumpy. Loss of interest, fatigue, decreased vigor and libido for life. And with men, it's hard because it's not like this sudden change. You know, it kind of creeps up on them so slowly that they don't even necessarily notice it. In my practice, it's often the wives that are bringing the husbands in to get their proper testing done and to determine if, you know, their testosterone is too low because they're the ones that have noticed the change. Men are sometimes accepting of these changes and, and maybe a little bit less proactive. When it comes to andropause, the key thing is, is to make sure that your testosterone is where it should be. So testing is really key for this. I do a lot of male hormone testing in my practice and it's never, never a dull moment when you realize that a man's testosterone is where it should be when he's 90 and he's only, you know, 45 or 50. I can think of this one patient that came in and he had been struggling with depression for about 20 years. And when I tested his testosterone, it was like at a 30 and it should have been at about 120. And so just by correcting his testosterone levels, his depression completely went away and he was able to come off medications. So some of the top strategies for boosting up your testosterone definitely include avoiding sugar. When you consume sugar, there's a direct connection between insulin and testosterone. So avoiding sugar or cutting back on it really helps to increase the testosterone levels. Taking certain supplements like zinc and selenium are key to testosterone production. Making sure that the adrenal glands, the stress glands are functioning really well because they help to produce some of the testosterone as well as the testicles do. And so really important to protect your sleep and get exercise because as men age, their estrogen increases. And when their estrogen is too high, that's when they're gaining weight in the love handles and the breast area. And so exercise is the key. Taking away some of those fat cells is really helpful to get rid of the estrogen and boost up the testosterone. And making sure that you're consuming a whole food diet really important so that the body can produce and it has all it needs to give you ample testosterone.